So we knew gunsmith information was coming out today, two days ago when we went over the major bug fixes for patch 2.1. We were told gunsmith info would be coming out today, and you behaved two hours ago. As we mentioned in our most recent developer update, our team has been working on changes to the gunsmith. We're excited to say in the release of 2.1, players can expect to see the first phase of these changes. Thanks to everyone who took the time to provide their feedback and suggestions. We've been busy implementing meaningful upgrades to the system. So trigger customization. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of you have wanted trigger customization for your gunsmith and you're going to be getting it now. So to improve the customization in the gunsmith, we've added more options for players to select their firing mode. This means that some burst automatic weapons like SMGs will have the option for single fire full auto. And some single fire full auto weapons like ASRs will have burst automatic option. The mode you choose will not have an impact on the damage done, only the shots fired. Wait, so these new options will be directly available to all players once they have unlocked the associated weapons blueprints. So as a reminder, single fire is one bullet fired per pressure of the trigger. Burst is three bullets per pressure on the trigger. So b below is a list of full SMGs that will have the option for the single fire full auto. So all of these guns here, guys, MP5, MP7, MPX, Scorpio, Evo 3, CQC, Scorpion, uh, Evo 3, UMP, the Echelon SMG, the Vector, the Vector Shorty. So, yeah, so you will be able to, I wish you could hear this, but I guess you could see, you could see from down here, here's your single and then here's your three round burst. So below is a full list of ASRs that will have additional burst automatic fire option. So the 416, 416 shorty, 516, 553, 805 Bren, A2, AK 12, G36C, M4A1, MK17, the Tarvar, the VHSD2, the Silver Stake. Foreign angled grips, guys. So now here you have, you could see right here. Based on the conversations we've seen from the community, our team noticed a lot of feedback on the placement of the foregrips on assault rifles. Changes will affect assault rifle submachine guns and shotguns. So I guess they're moving it more out a bit. So that's interesting. And new control shield muzzle for ASR, new muzzle brake for NSR, Maria's shop. So we have added two new muzzle options to Maria's shop. The control shield, so this is just new muzzle options. That's not really adding much to the gunsmith. So the control shield will provide a unique look for three separate weapon groups, which include a, spe a specific muzzle visual uh, effects. You can control the shield and newly add a muzzle brake with weapons listed below. And so control shield, 5.56, ASR factory, and short, shorty models. 416, 516, 553, AK-12, AK-74, the AUG, the G36, the I-2, M4A1, the SC-20K, oh, the to the to 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 Tavor, is it Tavor? VHS D2, Control Shield 762, 805 Bren, AK-47, ARX-200, the MK-17, the Muzzle Brake, Muzzle Brake 338 Sniper, the HTI, the L11-5A3, the M82, Scorpio, the SRS-A1, the TAC-50. So additional scopes. With the latest update, three additional scopes will be added to the game in Maria's shop. The SLX-5 Sight. The loophole and the VC-16. If you want to try them out, we recommend giving them file combinations to test in the field. The SLX-5 sight with the MK-48. The loophole with the P-90. V-16 with the G-28. So they recommend giving those types of uh, combinations. And here's kind of, here's the SLX sight, the compact ACSS magnified sight. They have a little thing right here. This scope can be used by these guns. That's what it is. So here we go. And then... This scope can be used by these guns. And then here's the V616, the VC16. And that's this type of scope. That's pretty sweet scope right there. And that could be used by these guns. So that's nice. That's pretty sweet. So further gunsmith additions. Beyond the additions that fixed list above, the GLM203 grenade launcher and the 50 round extended mags are sele selectable for shorty variations. We also integrated the SOCOM Mini, the specific assault variation suppressor, as well as a new 100 round extended magazine for selected ASRs. So now your, your shorty weapons will have 50 round mags and the grenade launcher attachments. SOCOM Mini suppressor, 
will be unlocked by default in the gunsmith for all players that have unlocked the related weapon blueprints. I'm not sure what's the point of that other than visuals. And the GLM203, uh, 100 round and 50 round extended magazines can be purchased in Maria's shop. So if you already, knew, if you already have purchased the GLM203 or the 50 round mag for this update, it would automatically un unlock for compatible weapons. So for the full list of weapons, these new additions will work. Please, uh, okay, so the M203 will work with these weapons. SOCOM Mini with these. The 50 round mag with these. 100 round mag with these. So title update 2.1 gunsmith weapon improvements and bug fixing. So the improvements that they have coming in 2.1. Converted AK-47 assault set to a SBR. Added GL M203 to 416 CQC. Total retake of weapons UIs, weapons and attachments, update on positions of the, of the grip for the underbarrel attachments, modifications on hand position and rotation on all four grips to avoid wrist tension, modified 516 CQC and Evo 3 tech side, Picatini, pick Picatini, pick I don't know what that is, position and move hands to avoid overlapping, worked on framing update in gunsmith hidden menu mode. Retake on G36 and 553 underbow uh, Picatinny rails. Retakes on hand position in GLM203. Retakes on the position in MG. Okay, so they've worked a lot with the where the model sits, where the model's hand sits. Added extended magazines to M4A1 and MPX tactical variations. Fixed, an fixed animation issues on Evo 3 angled grip. So a lot of this stuff is just fixing the grip placement with these new things. And then let's see, bug fixes. So fixed an issue. Okay, so fixed an issue with the AR2 paint would not unlock. Added some missing model parts. Fixed an issue. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know, man. You Like I sit here and I read off all this. Like fix an issue where the camera would clip. Cool. That's just you know, that's that's just like a bug. You don't want that. Fix an issue where weapons uh, connoisseur challenge would not be awarded. Like these are just bugs. But I mean, let's be honest, guys. Oh yo, FYI, guys. I know. Got the cut. Finally, got myself a cut yesterday after like five months. You guys have been seeing my hair has been absolutely insane. But. Yeah, I don't know, man. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this. I, are people even going to care about this? Because let me see what everybody is saying in the forums. Because, I mean, think about it. The only thing really added to this gunsmith. Nothing was actually added to the gunsmith. You, you get a few more. You get an option where you have your your handle on the rail. You get a few sights new scopes and then a trigger option to give the option to do single or auto for guns that didn't have it so it's basically now you just have a, 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 an ability to tr change your trigger but let me see what what people are saying this is a decent update it's not they're actually looking for okay so this guy likes it all right so that's cool there's certainly more than they were expecting. I just, I didn't think that people would care about adding scopes and things like that. I, th I thought people really wanted more options in the gunsmith to change a lot of things like butt stocks and uh, different types of barrels, short barrel, long barrel. I know there were some people complaining about that. Some guns didn't have that variation or something like that. But I guess that would be the same thing. So I guess all in all, I guess it's a good update. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, let me get this out to you guys. Let me. Ch I'm gonna have to chop this up. I think I BS'd a little too much. Anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, I see you guys in a few days. I'm probably gonna live stream the Ubisoft event. Maybe I'll hang out. Hopefully, it's not too hot, so I could live stream it and uh, not sit here and bake with my computer on all day in 100 degree weather. But let me know what you think of all these updates to the gunsmith. What excites you the most about it? We'll discuss some things in the comments. So that is all for this video. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. All right, everybody. Peace.